is presented by Lilt. Natural Look Lilt, the perm with sponge and wraps for natural looking curl. And by Wondra. Wondra relieves dry, flaky skin caused by rough jobs in water. I, I just feel that everything's closing in on me. Nothing's going the way I want it to. I can't trust anyone anymore. Do you have specific reasons for feeling this way? Of course I do. What are they, Mrs. Wexler? People I've trusted, I can't anymore. They've turned against me. What people? Can you be more specific? People that I've trusted that have been helping me do what I want to get done, and now I find they have ulterior motives. How do you know that? Because they've admitted it to me. I see. And how does your daughter fit into all this? Why do you assume that she has anything to do with this? I know you well enough to know that Amanda is the center of your life. Well, I won't deny that. Both your security and your insecurity are rooted in the dependency you have on your daughter. I'm very worried about her. Why? She's become involved with this man. Apart from her husband, you mean? Oh, no, no, it's, it's, it's purely business, that, that's all. Then why does it alarm you so? <sighs> because this man is probably the most immoral and un unscrupulous person I've ever met. Isn't that a rather strong judgment? <laughs> yes, I have very good reasons for it. I'll accept that for the moment. Now, let's see how Amanda fits into all this. <laughs> she finds him fascinating, suddenly. She's told you that? No, no not in so many words then you assume it without having been told. She says she respects his knowledge, his great flair for business. From me, she knows how dangerous a man he is. I don't see how he could, she could respect any part of him. It is possible that Amanda finds... Uh, that Amanda doesn't judge people as harshly as you do. Perhaps she's able to separate his business ability from his personal traits. Dr. Fisher, she plans to go to Chicago with him now on a business trip. I cannot bring myself to even think about it. Will she be alone with him on this trip? No, of course not. I wouldn't allow that under any circumstances. Then uh, why does it bother you so? Because I... I'm sorry, I cannot explain it to you any further than I already have. And that's where we stand at the moment on the Chamberlain merger. Mm -hmm. It's also complicated, Alan. <laughs> You're saying that uh, you've had as much as you can take for one day, right? <laughs> as a matter of fact, all these figures are beginning to be one big blur to me. You know you really have a natural instinct for business matters, despite your protestation to the contrary. Well, what, whatever instinct I may have, I think is due to Ross's training. Oh, don't give all the credit to Ross. It's an instinct that people inherit. Like your talent for playing the piano. And that theory was disproven the night of Ben's opening, remember? Was it? Mother told you then that neither she nor my father had any musical aptitude. Well, sometimes it skips a generation or two, I guess. Maybe. <laughs> On the other hand, it's obvious you inherited your business instincts from your mother. Do you really think so? Oh, yes. Your mother handles her financial affairs very well. Well, Mother's always given your father credit for any knowledge she has in that area. Well, is uh, someone picking you up? Ben said he would. Oh, well, I'll check on that. Uh, Diane, is Ben McFerrin here yet? Oh, good. You can both come in now. We've finished our session. Ben's been going over the graphics with Diane. I really should be annoyed with you for giving Ben so much extra work, <laughs> since it means he can't come to Chicago with I'm you. I'm really sorry about that. I didn't realize there was such a big push in the graphics department. You see, Diane wants that for me. Hello, Ben. Hello, Alan. Uh, I'm, I, you're all right now, huh? Oh, I'm fine. Yes. Good. I'm, I'm glad to hear that accident wasn't more serious. Oh, please don't even mention that. I still blame myself. Oh, go on. Well, you know, the four of us should have dinner one evening. I'd love you to come by and see where Hope has hung her new Ben McFerrin paintings. Ah. We'd love it. We're planning a big open house, but that's a little far off yet. So I think it'd be nice if the four of us could get together one evening. 
Well, I'll tell you, with all this work that Diana's piled on me, I'll be lucky if I have time for dinner at home in the next few weeks. I'd like to invite your mother, too, but I, I uh, doubt if she'd accept. No, I'm afraid not. But maybe you and Hope can come over some evening and Mother can get to know you better. I'll hold you to that. Well, I think we better get going. Yeah. Thank you for spending so much time on something that you insist you have no talent for. Well, yeah, thank you for teaching me so much. <laughs> Not at all. Goodbye, Amanda. Bye-bye. Don't work too hard, Ben. Okay, I won't. Take care. Bye, Diane. Goodbye. So, what did you work out with Moreno? Well, I don't like involving him. But I will take you up on your offer to deliver the money to him. Good. When do I leave? Moreno will call tomorrow with the police and the time. He already has the documents he needs to get him and his wife out of the country, but he's not able to pay for them until he has the money that you're bringing to him. So he'll, he'll meet you, pick up the money, and then leave as quickly as he can to avoid Mike Bauer's detective. All right. I understand. I'll never find a way to thank you properly for this. The rubber glove. It protects hands from drying, flaking caused by rough jobs in water. Now 